These are video games from level 1 to 100. And I'm about to be all of them. Or at least try. Starting at level 1. Batman. The goal? Beat the first three levels of Pac-Man. Time limit? 15 minutes. I haven't played Pac-Man in a long time. But if I struggle with the first three levels of Pac-Man, this is gonna be a rough video. Start the timer. I forgot how it is to play things with a joystick. And I'm already struggling. Oh. Oh no. Which is really bad news because as this video progresses, the games will just continue to get harder and harder. If that's how today is gonna go, this is gonna be a rough week. So even though it may seem like I'm just having fun, I assure you it's not gonna last. Don't let me lose a life on level one. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Throughout this video, I have three lives. And if I fail to complete my goal within the time limit, I lose a life. And if I lose all three lives, the video ends. But luckily for me, Pac-Man won't be stopping me today. Boom! Next level! Mario Kart. The goal? Win a race on the hardest speed. Time limit? 30 minutes. I have a confession. May or may not have stolen my girlfriend's Switch for this one. Sorry, honey. Don't kill me. I haven't played Mario Kart in a long time, so I'm hoping this won't be too big of a struggle. Let's see what we can do. Grand Prix, 200 CC. I actually felt confident until the first race started. Almost the entire time, I was just in the middle of the pack. 30 minutes might not be enough for this. Oh my gosh, we're in second. Last lap, we're in second. But despite actually catching up, third. Yeah, third's not doing it. And on the very next attempt, oh my God, no. No! It switched in the last second! I was there! I'm sorry, but that one's ridiculous. How did I not win that? Look at this frame by frame. How do I not win that? And for the next few races, unfortunately, it didn't get any better. Go! Why? Every time I'm in second. And with my time quickly running out, I was already on my final chance to beat this level. All right, if there's a map, it's this map. The problem is I have to play essentially a perfect game. And knowing that this was my last chance, you seriously don't even understand how locked in I was. But the countdown was certainly not helping. But on the last possible chance, go, go, go. Yes! <laughs> Only 40 seconds to spare. No way. But that brings us to level 20. Fortnite. The goal, win a game. Time limit, one hour. We only have an hour for this level. And here's the problem with that. A full length Fortnite game is about 20 minutes. Meaning, pretty much at most, I might get three games in. Who am I kidding? We gotta, we gotta pick the right outfit for this. Oh yeah, that's the face of a winner. I'm just gonna play very, very, Six. I don't remember how to play. Okay. Yeah, so game one didn't go great, but with my new and improved strategy, I can't lose. I'm gonna get a couple guns, I'm gonna hide in a bush, and then I'm gonna stay there for the whole game. And I did just that. But after very strategically moving across the map, this happened. Oh, what is that? Oh boys, this is gonna be a tough win here. But the next battle I ended up in, we had a problem. Nope, I'm dead. Oh, oh, I'm on one health. No way. Okay, miracle completed. But I was still a ways away from the win I needed. Come on, dude. I need this other guy to pick him off. With three people left, all I needed to do was survive. Well, they're both up there, though. Come on, get in the fight. Get in the fight. Get in the fight. And somehow, by an absolute miracle, skating by with another life again. I'm only on level 20. I should not be sweating this hard. And that brings us to level 30. Minesweeper. The goal? Beat the game. Time limit? An hour and a half. Minesweeper. For some of you, you might not even know this game. And for others, it might bring you back to high school computer class. In case you've never played before, let me give you the rundown. You start with a grid of empty gray boxes. Each box you click can either be a blank space, a number, or a mine. If you reveal a number, that number indicates how many mines that box is touching. Meaning out of the eight boxes around it, this block is touching two mines. And in order to win the game, 
you have to clear the entire board without hitting a mine. And I know what you're thinking. Addy, that actually doesn't look that hard. Why do you have an hour and a half to try and do this one? Unfortunately for us, it's not that easy. Would this really be worthy of a YouTube video if we didn't play it? on expert mode. Now we have a giant grid and over one third of the blocks are mines. And with that being said, start the timer. I've never successfully beat this game and I've never played it on expert mode. But you know what, it's fine. I, I completed level one to 100 puzzles, so a puzzle game really shouldn't be that hard. After getting a decent starting screen, I realized I needed some serious strategy. One, two, three, one of these has to be a mine. That's touching two, so that but I was going multiple minutes without clicking a single box. You might be able to guess this, but doing nothing is not gonna help me beat this game in 90 minutes. This isn't a mine. That's not a mine. That's not a mine. And that's not a mine. <laughs> But luckily, I was quickly starting to get better and decisions were becoming much easier. Man, this is brutal. This is a brutal game. This is a brutal game. Yes. Oh. What a beautiful click that was. But just as things were starting to go really well, I got reminded that one mistake can change the course of this entire challenge. No! I just put an hour of work into that game, which means it's mathematically impossible for me to complete this level within the next 27 minutes. And that was my first crucial mistake of this video. That's no surprise. Now I can only fail one more time. <sighs> but I had no other choice. I had to continue on. We bowling. The goal, score a perfect 300. Time limit, two hours. I know, we had a big loss. I was not supposed to lose a life that early, but everything's okay because now we're playing the Wii. I used to play this thing so much as a kid. Look at me, I don't even know how old I am in that picture, maybe six? And for all you youngsters right now, I'm sorry that you're not growing up with this because this is without a doubt the world's best console, and will remain to be forever. This little remote does everything. You can play tennis, baseball, and golf. Put it in for two? No way, no way. What? No! But that's not all, we bowling. I've played this a little recently, but it's been a little while. I'm gonna be a little rusty, but let's see how we can do. Bowl the perfect 300. It's simple, all you have to do is bowl 12 strikes in a row. Yeah, maybe it's not so easy. Gotta go for the spin ball. Start me with a strike. Oh, start me with a strike, baby. Now we just need 11 more of those in a row, and we have two hours to do it. Two in a row! This is beautiful! I started off super hot, but... Oh, I screwed up. That is where there's a problem. If I mess up a single frame, we have to start over. Every single bowl has to be a strike. And after a couple more silly mistakes... <sighs> no. I caught another hot round. Okay, one. And that was actually bowling. Oh, that was so lucky. Strike after strike after strike. Muscle memory, please. Please. <laughs> Until eventually. Oh my gosh, 11. Do it. Do it. Yes! No! <laughs> I've never seen that screen before. That was insane. I deserve that one, boys. That took me six and a half minutes. Are you serious? And I enjoyed the excitement while I could, because I knew that, well, it was only getting harder from here. But just as I was going for my next game, this happened. Hey game, why is the Manscaped Beard Hedger Pro Kit on the podium? Confidence booster. Oh! You're trying to help me boost my confidence for the upcoming more difficult levels. Well, lucky for me, this video is sponsored by Manscaped. I'm gonna go get my beard trimming off. And I got lucky again, because the easy to use guard wheel and skin safe technology makes trimming up that beard easier and quicker than ever. And you definitely don't have to worry about mistakes like these. Yeah, that was a bad time in my life. Not to mention the beard comb, brush, and scissors to make shaping your beard more perfect than ever. But don't forget
forget about the beard oil, shampoo, conditioner, and beard balm. I mean, seriously, what more could you even ask for? And after I was finished trimming up my beard, I'm feeling so good right now. So go to manscaped.com and check out the Beard Hedger Pro Kit and use code ADDY at checkout for 20% off and free shipping. Thanks again to Manscaped for sponsoring today's video. And if you don't mind me, I gotta go beat some video games. Which brings us to level 50. Ding dong. The goal, beat 10 levels of Dig Dog. Time limit, three hours. Start the timer. Now in theory, this game is actually really simple. Round one, baby. This is you, and you dig around and find these little monsters underground. We have the dino that breathes fire, and this little jumpy guy. I don't actually know his name, but we'll call him Fred. Your only goal is to get them with your air pump and make them pop. Once you pop all the enemies on a level, you successfully go to the next round. But if any of the enemies touch you or the dinos breathe fire on you, you lose a life. And just like Pac-Man, three lives and you're done. And although the game might see, you know, cute, this is definitely the hardest game I've played yet. This can't be that hard. And well, let's just say I was about to learn that lesson myself. Oh, that's bad. Yep, nope, okay. I just died on level four. Okay, so my high score is level four. And after dying over and over and over again, Dig Dug is gonna be my worst enemy. I was getting better, but I was also getting way more frustrated. High score, wow. Wow. At this point, no matter how far I was actually getting, I was just mad that I wasn't beating this game. But eventually, after playing the game for over two hours, this happened. All right, we're on round 10, so I cannot die. Yeah, I died immediately. Screw you, game. Just go, just run away. Don't even care. <gasps> yes! <gasps> Thank God, man. I'm just happy to be done with it, dude. As happy as I was, there was no option but to go to the next game. Fred Bear. How you doing, buddy? It's been a while. The goal, beat all five nights. Time limit, four hours. Kids, I'm gonna warn you, this is a horror game. Skip to this time if you don't wanna watch the horror game. I'm gonna really hope you know what this game is, but in case you don't, here's the rundown. You're a security guard working in this pizzeria. In the pizzeria, there's four animatronics. Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, and Foxy. Now, the first night's a breeze. If I die on the first night, we have a big problem. They're trying to kill you. Your goal is to keep them out of the office. Yep, so that's when you close the door. Other than that, it's a simple game. Don't die, stay alive, survive five nights. And as predicted, there were no issues on night one. Yay! Fifth of the way there. And actually, for the most part, nights two and three were just as simple. Okay, he's still there, we're good. Oh, no we're not. But it doesn't really get hard until night four. My heart is racing right now. Yep, hi Bonnie. I'm gonna run out of power before I even get to the end. Forgot that one. You have a power level, so if you use all the power, you die that way too. I mean, there's a lot of death basically in this game. But despite this being one of the harder nights, I was actually managing to do okay. Well, until... But luckily on the next attempt, I must have literally gotten lucky because almost nothing happened the entire night. Freddy, why you gotta be that close to the camera, man? You're like me when I see a 360 camera. I don't like it. We're on to the fifth night, the final one. We've only been doing this for 45 minutes too. And honestly, if I can get through the entirety of five nights of Freddy's without really getting jump scared besides Foxy, I'm happy. 6%, 5 a.m., come on, please. No, no. No, I just screwed up and accidentally pressed the door. 6 a.m. please, 6 a.m. please, 6 a.m. please. Yes! Let's go! I got paid $120 for that? That is not worth it. <laughs> that said, I was really tired. So I decided to head to bed for the night and come back in the morning.
Actually, I don't know if it does. There's a lot of video games left. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> uh, but at least I got myself a McDonald's iced coffee. Oh yeah, that's good. Really? We're doing this again? You did this to me in the puzzle video. You did? Of course I'm still drinking coffee. What do you expect? I'm gonna enjoy my iced coffee while we get into the next level. I only have to beat four more levels. And I have two more lives. You would think we're in good shape, but this is where everything gets difficult. And that brings us to level 70. Guitar Hero. The goal, beat one of the songs on expert mode. Time limit, five hours. Some of you are probably thinking, this is gonna be easy, but there's one problem. I've never played this game before. And not only that, I've never even played a guitar before. <laughs> But I mean, the only way to learn is just to jump straight into it, right? Oh. I scored 3%. In fact, I think I'm playing the game so badly that YouTube couldn't even copyright claim the song if they wanted to. But eventually, I got the hang of it and actually beat the level. Not easy. Yeah, we got a long ways to go. But after losing a few times on medium, I knew I had to develop a strategy to try and learn my way to expert as quick as possible. I just don't get it. I just don't get it. And this is what I came up with. I decided that playing the expert song, the song I'm trying to be, would be the way to go. And found out in the practice mode, you can actually slow down the song. This is what I'm trying to learn. But even still on the slowest mode, I couldn't even get 50% of the notes. 42% notes hit. But I really thought this was my best chance. So I played over and over and over again until eventually... 70! Okay, that's great. You know it was going bad. Because in my mind, 70% was really good. And honestly, after lots and lots of attempts, I felt like I actually had a shot at this. At one point, I even got a combo. It's a miracle. And after getting a whopping 65% on the second slowest speed, I decided to do this. But I'm gonna try schools out one time on full speed on the actual thing. Oh my gosh, dude. I, are you serious? 3%. I've prepped just for three hours and I'm still on the same point where I started. Yeah, attempting that was a huge mistake because now I had completely diminished any hope I had and everything I was doing was just making me frustrated. Remind me when I'm done with this level, whether I win or I lose, I'm never playing this dang game again. Remind me of that because I never want to see a guitar after this. Yeah, things were not going great. And after trying this song a few more times, well... Worst game of my life. Yeah, uh, not ideal. But that meant we're moving to level 80. We play. And I couldn't fail any more levels. The goal, score 600 points or more for a platinum medal. Time limit, five hours. The we play shooting range. Let me show you how it works. The game consists of five different levels. Balloons, targets, frisbees, cans, and UFOs for some reason. And the goal is simple. Hit as many of the targets as possible. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention, there's also ducks that fly across the screen randomly. They're worth a lot of extra points. That's what you're gonna see me get mad at the most. Ducks! And after round one... So, I scored 357. To get platinum, I need to double my score. And after a few more rounds... That was such a good round and I blew it. And that's only 450? Okay, we got the goal. I truly felt like I was playing perfect. I didn't really know how to improve my score. Oh, I got both ducks. Get them all, 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 get them all. Come on, oh no. But despite my progress, scoring 600 points still felt impossible. Welcome to the Wii Remote POV. Imagine I win the game like this. You're going down, birds. You're going down. Oh, 
I missed the bird. Okay. 551, are you serious? I know you can hardly see me right now, but I'm still sweating this out, don't you worry. Mm, this game, bro, this game. But then I got started on a really good round. That was really good. Don't screw this up. Come on, Cans, please. I missed both ducks on this freaking level. That was the round. But after a perfect round on the alien level, I gotta keep them all and I did it. I needed that after Guitar Hero. Oh my gosh, bro. Oh. Coming off of a win was great. My momentum was back into it, but that doesn't hide the fact that level 90 was gonna be near impossible. Tetris. I'm back again in the room for day three. It's starting to get a little old, I'm not gonna lie. I was gonna use this little guy for this level, but um, as cool as this thing is, I realized it's a little bit impractical for filming. I don't think you wanna watch this for six hours. So instead of playing on this little guy like I so badly want to, we're playing on Tetris.com. I know, it's not as cool, but uh, Look, it, I gotta do what's good for the video. The goal, score 100,000 points. Time limit, six hours. Start the timer. How do you rotate it? Uh-oh, uh, how do you? What? Hold? You can hold it? I'm assuming most of you know this game, but for those who don't, it's simple yet difficult. The blocks fall from the top of the screen to the bottom, and in order to score points, you have to line up the blocks so that they fill an entire row. Once they do, that row disappears and you get the points. But if you make mistakes trying to line them up and you fill all the way to the top of the screen, you lose. On the first game, I found myself struggling really quickly. Oh, the game is falling apart. And this is when I realized it was gonna be a lot harder than I thought. And after 30 minutes, my top score was only... That's only 16,000 points. I can't lose on Tetris. I can't lose on Tetris. And with my hope already dwindling, I knew the only thing I could do to give myself a chance was to keep playing. I'm getting to the point where I'm gonna be annoyed everything I do. That's only 40,000. It took me 20 minutes to get to that. Eventually, I had reached the two hour mark and I still was not getting close. What am I doing? Wake up. Put it together, dude, put it together. Knowing I was getting closer to the final chance to pull this off, I was getting a lot more stressed. Uh, we have an hour and a half left. I still have not gotten past 40,000 points. But honestly, at this point, it didn't even feel like I was playing a video game. It just felt like straight up torture. And with only 45 minutes left, I finally felt like I had an amazing round. But to my surprise, 61,000, dude. Oh my gosh. Dial, dial, you're close, you're close. But despite the improvements, it was just too little, too late. No. That's it. I lost. <laughs>